morning, everyone, and welcome to The Tyler Show. Today, we have a very special guest, someone who has gone through something no other person should have gone through. Airbagophobia, commonly known as the fear of airbags. Caprice Smith is the man of the hour right now. Please give a warm welcome to Caprice and his wife of 16 years, Yolanda, or known as the streets as Yo. Now, let's take a look at your past. It was very hard dealing with this phobia, wasn't it? Yeah, in fact, I have some footage on my problem. I used to take him when we were going to get in the car, and then I would send the videos to AFB, hoping to get the grand prize and finally move out of our one-room shack located in Detroit. Hey, hey. Oh. We still live there. Well, that's, uh, very lovely. Let's go to the footage. No. Just let me take the bike. You have to get over your I don't like ear. that airbag. I don't like that airbag. It's, it's not, not made for me. You. It's not made for me. It's gonna save you. I'm too fat. I'm too fat. I'm too, I'm too tall. I'm too small. No. <laughs> I don't want to go in there. I don't want to go in there. It's not designed for me. <laughs> I like Disney. Are you sick of people dying all around you because of wrongly placed airbags? Well, brush that worry off your shoulder. Because with the new Face Saver 2000, you can change airbags with a push of a button adjusted just for you. Tired of Aunt Maurice not being saved because she's too small? Midget. Or tired of your giant St. Bernard being killed because he's too big? Just buy it today. Why do we have to be in these gosh darn well, we're recording. Oh. <laughs> and now, for Tyra's intriguing fact of the day. Nearly 75% of drivers killed by airbags were women. Capricious airbag solution will help this because it has a gender setting. Women are naturally smaller, therefore need smaller airbags. However, this button does not include transsexual settings. What? Do you know who this is? Do you know who I am? Do you think you can just roll on by? She ain't got nothing on me. I have a variety of different people I drive with, and they all have different body types, which means they have different needs when it comes to safety, especially airbags. As you said before, you know, women have a slightly smaller body than men. That's sadly which is true. My Aunt Maurice happens to be a midget. The airbag just flies over her face. Oh, there was this one time when I was, when I was four. I had a Komodo dragon who was, was climbing up the seat and suddenly got into a crash. And the airbag, I know it looks terrible, and then it just exploded on it and squished it to a million tiny little pieces. <laughs> Yeah, it was a sad day, but it was for the betterment of my invention, the Face Saver 3000. It was born that day. You, you had some trouble getting over this very scary fear, haven't you? Have you had any help from a psychiatrist? Yes, she made me realize that airbags were safe for people, for me, but not for the different ones out there, you know, like the, the, the midgets, the, the giants, the in-betweens, they, they the weren't safe. Dragons the Komodo dragons, too? The pets, they were not safe. Mm. It, it was very, it was very hard, and I have some footage of my psychiatrist and I discussing the controversial topic. Okay. Caprice, do you realize that 83% of people are saved by airbags and seatbelts? What about that 17%? What about the people who are too small, like, like my dragon? My dragon died. Did I tell you about my childhood? I had a very bad childhood. That had nothing to do with airbags. <laughs> that was about your father beating you. Oh, oh yeah. Can we, can we talk about that next time? Yes. Yeah, but what, what about my, 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 uh, my uncle Kai? When he sits in the front seat, the airbag explodes and it, and it hits his six pack, but it doesn't save his neck and face. No, those are gone. Well, shouldn't you be riding in the back then? No, no. See, my baby sister's in the back. She has to, she has to sit there because, because she's too, she's too small to ride in the front. And this airbag said too, she might die. 
I'm out of ideas. I have an idea. To the infection mobio. Well, obviously, Caprice and you have gone through a very hard path. Why did you stick around for so long? Well, it was difficult, no doubt. But he has a really hot sister. Well, excuse me? Excuse me? This needs to go to Mori. Let's go see the Face Saver 2000. See you later. Well, here's the Face Saver in action. You simply put one or two or three for your gender. Two for women? Yes. Now, now put your height in. Five, three. All right, and then just hit customize for the airbag of your choice. There you go. And awesome. now, and yeah, it's it's really simple. And then when when you crash, which you're bound to do, the airbag will save your pretty pretty face. And this is where it, lo it is located in this slim area. Yeah, so you see, there's there's different sections for each airbag, so you can choose which airbag, and the the car yeah. will choose based on your decisions which airbag will be. Now, does it you. sense anything like my weight or? Yes, in fact, the, the seats have been implemented to sense your weight along with your height and your gender to decide which one would be safest. Okay, now let's dance to some tunes. Oh yeah, bad girls. You know, we'll never die in a car again thanks to my cool, customized... Oh. Holy... Oh. 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 So she was the culprit. <gasps>